My name is Simon and this is how to build a racing car. The gearbox used in Formula V has the gear shift located at the very back of the car, so somehow we need to give the driver a way to change the selected gear from the cockpit. I stuck to a fairly simple design similar to what most cars in Formula V use, with a number of rods connected end to end with the gear lever on the driver's end. In this episode I'll show you how I designed and built this linkage. I had most of the model drawn before I started focusing on where the linkage itself would be located. Most of the geometry for the chassis and drivetrain was fixed, so I knew it would be a case of threading it through at a later stage. I had the location of the gear lever itself set based on the work we did with the ergonomics jig and I knew I'd have to run it as low as possible through the chassis to avoid my elbow. This quickly started to define the linkage geometry forward of the main bulkhead, getting it through to the engine was going to be more complicated. The configuration I ended up with was also one of the simplest. The horizontal rod simply extended further beyond the bulkhead, missing the engine heads, exhaust pipes and axles. The final connection ran from the adapter on the gear selector arm down to the horizontal member. In this last member I included an adjuster which would allow the position of the gear lever to be easily changed. The adjuster was a left hand thread on one end with a right hand thread on the other which meant it's possible to undo the lock nuts and simply rotate this piece to move the gear lever forwards and backwards. Similarly the lever could be adjusted left and right by turning one end of the adjuster section. To allow the linkage to be removable I included a split in the horizontal section. This configuration ended up with three universal joints to allow the correct freedom of movement. I've seen people use the universal joints from socket sets, but there's just far too much play in these. I got some prices for industrial universal joints which would reduce the play to a bare minimum. These cost over $100 each, but uh, the whole linkage ended up with almost zero play. The adjuster was the first piece to be built out of lathe steel. The thin piece was intended to give the assembly rigidity and reduce the stress on the thread. The left and right hand threads were cut into the adjuster. Next the inserts are made for the adjuster. These are welded into the tubes on either side with the adjuster located between them. The gearbox linkage adapter is started. This piece fits over the gear selector. A small section of tube is welded to one side to allow the linkage to connect on the right hand side of the gearbox. The removable piece is fabricated. This is welded onto one side of the linkage and has two small bolts on the other, allowing the linkage to be disconnected and removed. The lever itself pivots above the linkage and uses a ball and socket to move the selector forwards and backwards as well as left and right. The ball on the end wasn't particularly easy to create on the lathe, I roughed out the shape using the cutting tool and then finished it off using a file. The ball sat in a solid piece of tube which telescoped within the linkage. The solid tube was connected to a pivot on the chassis. This way the lever had something to push on and move the linkage and gear selector around. A slot has to be cut in the outer tube to allow the lever to connect to the solid tube.
Other side of the slot were the plates which connected to the lever. When it's all assembled you can see how moving the lever moves the gear selector on the back of the gearbox. Apart from these, the rest of the pieces were just cut tubes and the universal joints themselves. All of the pieces were welded together and assembly got underway. The linkage was supported in the middle through two brass bushes in the chassis. I had welded these in using a single piece of tube which was then cut between the two mounts to try to create a perfect alignment between the two. This didn't actually work out as well as I'd hoped so I'd have to shave the linkage down a little bit uh, so that it was free to move. Finally the linkage was assembled within the car. Anyway, that's the gear shift linkage done. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, feel free to subscribe to see more and also follow the project on Twitter or Facebook if you want to see more about the car. Thanks and I hope to see you next time.